bah. what is up? What is up? Anna, how was your day today? <laughs> what was that? It was fine. Is that how you normally wave? Wax on, wax off? Is that your normal wave? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? You just stand something a second ago. I, my day's actually been going really good, but I actually have to finish my second slide still. Your schoolwork. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. How's all that stuff going? I'm still going. It's actually going really good, and for some reason, I like being online schooling more than actually in normal schooling. Why, why do you think that is? Is it just easier to focus? You can do it at your own pace? Why do you like it better than normal school? I actually like it more because I can do it at my own pace. Okay, that's cool. I definitely understand that. I think I would have a hard time focusing at home, especially with, you know, <laughs> siblings and pets and stuff going on. It'd be hard to focus. Let's see, Josh is in here. What is up, Josh? Josh, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. Doing good? Awesome, awesome. Okay, anything fun happen over the weekend? Did you throw a party, a house party? Did you go to the beach? No. Other than Get a that. Christmas tree? No. Did you ride a blimp? No. Did you make pizza from scratch? No. Okay. Well, I mean. Just played a new game called Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, I've heard about that game. How'd you like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's realistic and stuff. Yeah, that's what makes games fun for me is I like the really realistic games. That or they have to be like super duper like Star Wars-y or like fantasy -y. Mm -hmm. But that game is like a gun game, right? It's like you're a SWAT team kind of thing, I think, right? It's like defuse the bomb, save the person, or capture an area, and it's always a five-person team. Ah, okay. So are you playing that with your friends then if it's a five-person team or just playing it by yourself? I'm playing it with my brother and his friends. Oh, okay. That sounds cool. Is your brother older or younger? Older. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I know Anna probably knows because she might have seen Delilah's class. But we have a game we're going to play today that's a little bit different. Anna, you can't tell anybody, okay? But you have a little bit of an advantage. What's going on with you today, Miss Lexi Maxfield? Anything interesting? Uh, first... We made that ice cream, the homemade ice cream. Oh. It melted really fast, but it was delicious. And I just found out, you know the book Wonder, the chapter book? I just found out it had a, it, it, that it had an app, which I did not know. So. Did not know that either. Yeah. I'm not sure. You know, a couple of years ago, well, that's probably more than a couple of years ago now, um, you know, the Kindles and the Amazon tablets and things like the online books got really big. But then something happened and now it seems like they're not as popular. People are just reading normal <laughs> books. Yeah. I like real books better. I mean, I'll read. As you can books. probably see in her <laughs> library. Oh, yeah, for she sure. can't even really see all of, like, she's Let got. Let me show him. <laughs> oh, whoa. Got a ridiculous collection of books. <laughs> Okay. Right. For a second. Here's one shelf. Oh, so you're stocked up. Here's the next case. Here's the next case. Awesome. What type of books do you like to read? Here's the mini case. Um, and then here's a chapter books case, which is a mess. <laughs> um, um, she likes graphic novels best. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're still turned around. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. That's one of the things I invested in when I moved. That's one of the first things I invested for my room was I bought a really cool bookshelf. A kind of it's not like a normal bookshelf that has like mm. uh uniform shelves. It kind of looks like a like a almost like a puzzle. Like some shelves are big, some shelves are little. It's oh, kind of cool. Yeah, I'd have to show a picture of it, but 
I have a lot of books I, I like a lot, but I, I'm of the same opinion. I like actual having real books. Obviously, you don't have to worry about battery life. I also heard that it's hard to stay focused on the screens for a long time. It's easy. Yeah, it's probably not great for your eyes either. For sure. The only thing I don't like about books is I have to have um, hardback books because when I have a soft cover book and the cover gets messed up and all bent, that annoys the mess out of me. You can stick it between the books, <laughs> but it's still just a hassle. Like I have a hard, hard cover book. Well, it might be a small class today. It's only 6.30 on the dot right now. There's only three of us, but we have some good drills to do today. And we'll go ahead and get started, I guess. And if anyone pops in late, they can pop in late. I'm just going to check, make sure no one's having any problems getting in. I'm going to check the text messages really quick. It looks like somebody went crazy. They got a whole bunch of crazy letters in a text message. A whole bunch of Z's and X's and stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started today and attention yes sir black belt creed ready set begin as a dedicated student of martial arts i shall live by the principles of the black belt creed courtesy integrity perseverance self-control and the indomitable spirit see oh awesome job we're gonna go ahead and start our warm-up 10 jumping jacks ready set begin one, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Awesome. Now we're going to switch it up today. We're going to do one leg body squats. One leg body squats. We're going to do ten in total, five on each side. I don't care how you hold your leg. If you want to bring your knee up, that's fine. If you want to have your leg across, that's fine. If you want to hold on to your foot like we're doing our stretch, that's also fine. Just make sure you get into the good body squat position. If you just bend your knee a little bit and you give me this, that's not gonna be good. I want you to bend that knee all the way into a good L shape, get a little normal body squat, and then pop back up. So good one-legged body squats. So we're gonna go five on one side, then we'll switch and go five on the other side. So pick your starting leg. Ready, set, and one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Five, sir. Excellent. Change legs now. Other side. And one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Five, sir. Very, very good. We're gonna travel down to the ground now for our push-ups. We're gonna do some close grip push-ups today, some triangle push-ups on our feet. So remember, make sure your elbows don't break out far from your body. You want your elbows close to your side, brushing right past your sides to make those push-ups as easy as possible. So triangle position, triangle push-up position, hands close together, as close as possible. Ready, and one. One, set, two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Ten, sir. Very, very good. Welcome, Ashton. Welcome, Dorian. We're now going to flip over to our crab walk position. And we're gonna do some crazy crabs today. Remember, I use my opposite leg, opposite hand. So if my right hand touches my shoulder, I'm gonna kick my left leg up. If I try to use the same side leg, I'm gonna tilt over and fall to the side. So opposite hand, opposite leg, we're gonna touch our shoulder and kick with our leg simultaneously, which is a big word that means at the same time. Ready, 10 of these, get set. And one, one sir, two, Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Ten, sir. 
Excellent. Everyone have a seat. We're going to go to our stretching now. We're going to do a little bit of a different stretching series today. We're going to start our feet out straight. Knees nice locked out. We're just going to reach down, try and touch our toes. Good work. Now this type of stretch where we're bending over like this and we're hunched over, it's very important to remember our breathing. Okay, now we're gonna go feet wide and reach both hands over to one foot. You can pick whichever side you wanna start on. Again, laying the legs down flat, knees nice and straight. No bend in the knees here. And switch, other side. Excellent, now we're gonna go down to the middle. We're reaching to the middle. One leg out, other leg over the top, half pretzel twist. Switch. Okay, everyone flipping over to their tummies now, laying in our snake slither on McCall kind of position, feet on the ground, hands by the side. We're just gonna lift our head up as high as you can hold. Good, Ashton, nice, Lexi, good, Dorian. Nice, our hands up at all, nice, Anna, good, Josh. Great effort. Okay, everyone stay there. I see everyone is trying to join class. I gotta click this button. Ah, okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, now we're going to put our hands on the ground and we're gonna push ourselves up, hips down low. Great, great, great. Now we're just gonna walk our hands back into our turtle position. And time. We're gonna go ahead, Catherine, grab our water break, come back, start on our drills for today. On three, one, two, three, pop. Gonna grab a quick water break, come back. All right, everybody's back. So today our word is momentum, momentum. This is our yellow stripe, momentum. Uh, momentum is normally having to do with our takedowns. Most of our stripe and testing requirements for momentum require you to take your point down using a specific type of takedown. 
Obviously, we do not have partners where we can take down today, at least most of us don't. I suppose Lexi you could tackle your mom and take her down if you really wanted to work on your takedowns. <laughs> but today, we're going to kind of take that momentum and we're going to shift it. It's still going to be grappling oriented. But today, I want to do some cool drills, some cool movements we haven't done in a long while. And these grappling drills are great for controlling your body, controlling your own momentum. And also, they're really great drills. So if you guys are getting the jiu-jitsu fever or the grappling bug and you, and you want to train on your own, these are great solo drills that you can do on your own, not just right now while we don't have, or before we open back up for classes, but even after we open back up for classes, these are great drills to do as warm-ups for other normal workouts to really help you with some very fundamental movements um, to help us with our grappling. And all these movements we're going to do today aren't just, you know, random movements. We use these moves in the roll, the live rolling all the time, whether you realize it or not. And we're going to start with one that I know for sure we haven't done in a long time, which is the sit out. Raise your hand. Who knows what a sit out is? I think Ashton might be the only one who knows what a sit out is off the top of the head. Okay. So for everyone else who doesn't know what a sit out is, this is an amazing move. It's a great counter for a lot of bad spots. So we can use a sit out. If we shoot in for a double leg and someone sprawls on top of us, or even if we're just on all fours and someone's draped on our back of the cape, the sit out is a great way to get them off of our back and get to a more offensive position. So we're going to look at that really quick. So coming on over here. For the sit out, I'm gonna show it first. You guys can stay relaxed. And then after I show it and answer any questions, then we'll actually do it for a sizable amount of time. You don't wanna just do one or two. So we'll probably do this for about a minute. For our sit out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in a bear crawl position. So I'm on my hands and my feet here. For the sit out, what I'm gonna do, much like our crazy crabs in our warm up, I'm gonna use the opposite side hand, opposite side leg thing. So if I move my right hand, that means I'm gonna move my opposite side leg, which is my left leg. It looks like this. I pick my right hand up and I sit my left leg through sideways. Then I come back and I switch. So I pick my left hand up, sit my right hand through leg through sideways. Now, a couple of important details. Detail number one is the angle that I sit out at. I sit out perpendicular, 90 degrees. You don't know what that means? Imagine that I'm on a clock right now and I'm facing 12 o'clock. Depending on which way I'm going, my leg is either going to point to three o'clock or nine o'clock. Some students, when they're first doing this, they just kind of crisscross their legs in the back back here, and it's kind of like that. That's not what I want. I want my leg all the way off to the side over here. What's gonna help us with that is detail number two. My chest does not stay facing the ground. I'm turning my body. So I start facing the ground, but at the end, I turn sideways. I'm looking at the wall now. Like I'm kind of like I'm watching TV or relaxing. But not super relaxing because detail number three, this hip here does not touch the ground. I should be kind of hovering. Only three things touch the ground here. One hand, one foot, actually both feet here. My hip should be up. Okay. So my hand over here, leg over here. This is the primary post. This bent leg, I'm supporting a lot of my weight and this arm. My other legs is kind of out there. So all my weight is on this leg and this arm. I'm here. So when we go for one minute, we want to be doing those reps fast and you kind of get light on your feet. So you kind of have this twisting momentum or rotating back and forth, kind of like a top. And your ability to control that momentum is very, very important. So I'm going to show you kind of what it's like going full speed. It looks like this. Okay, so I'm focused on my breathing right now. I'm turning to the side, not letting my hip touch the ground keeping a good pace, back and forth. So it's very much a cardio drill. It gets your blood pumping. It's a full body workout. Really, you're gonna feel this a little bit in your shoulder. You don't have to hold it for a long time. Get there for a second, go back. Get there for a second, go back. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions on this? So again, recap, three details. Opposite side leg, opposite side hand. Detail number two, I'm pointing my leg out perpendicular to three o'clock or nine o'clock, depending on what side you're on. Detail number three, I'm turning my body. My hip does not touch the ground. All right, so if there's no questions, I want everybody to get to a good bear crawl position. Everyone on your hands and feet. We're gonna give us a shot for one minute. We'll see if there's any problems, and then we might go for another minute, who knows? Lower this a bit, ready. On your mark, get set, go. Switching our hips, nice. Good job, Ashton. 
Faya, great. Dorian, now when you pick that hand up, that floor really is lava. So don't just pick that hand up a little bit. I want you to pick that hand up and bring it up to your face like you're in a ready stance. Whatever hand you're picking up, bring it, get that hand all the way off the ground. Nice, good. And that's looking pretty good as well. Great work. Let's see, Lexi. Nice, Lexi. That's great. Yep. Make sure we're going both sides. Yep. Everyone's got this one. Good job. Good job. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're getting close to halfway there. About 30 seconds left. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This is another one of those positions where we're hunched over and we're focused on going hard. If we don't breathe, we'll get tired. The secret to not getting tired is breathing. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, time. It's like a black belt really quick. All righty, everyone. For some of you guys not knowing what that is, we're not doing it in a while. That looks very, very good. So a couple of things. That floor is lava. So I'm going to pick that hand up, whichever hand I'm picking up, and I want to get it off the ground really fast. Why? Because when we're doing the sit out, this hand could possibly be need. I might need it to grab something. So for some of my students that like pick it up for a second and put it right back down right away, their balance is going to be off. Because when I ask them to pick that hand up and use it for something, and they were using that hand from before for balance, now they're not gonna be trained to do the right thing. So make sure you're not leaning on the hand at all. Get up off the ground. Next thing, make sure we turn our body all the way. So imagine you're in a bear crawl position. That means your back is like this, it's kind of like a table. If the other person sprawls on top of you, their chest is on your back, right? The idea behind this move is when I turn my body to the side, I'm no longer flat, I'm looking sideways. So guess what? My, my back's on a table anymore, I'm sideways, because what's happening to that person on top? They have nothing to lean on. So they're gonna fall flat. So I turn the corner, they fall flat, and then I get on top of them. It's an old bait and switch, it's super sneaky. So you really wanna rotate like a hook almost, you're throwing a hook. You really wanna turn to the side and get all the way to the side. It doesn't matter which side you're going to. We're gonna go for one more minute. Before we do it, any questions? Anybody having a hard time with some a part of this? It's looking pretty good. All right, back in the same spot. Let's go, one more minute, one more minute. Intense, intense. Let's see who's going to give it 100%. That's going to be my student of the day today. Whoever gives me 100%, everything they got. Let's go. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go, 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 go. Sitting out, breathing, picking that foot up off the ground. Nice, Tristan. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Excellent. Ronan, you're here, but you don't have a camera on. I'm assuming you're doing a great job also. All right. Keep going, keep going. Nice, Josh. Yep, don't let the hip touch the ground. Great, Dorian. Excellent. Yeah, find that tempo. If you can find your tempo and stay on a consistent speed, you're good. If you don't go super fast, that's okay. I'd rather you go a little bit slower and not stop at all. If you can maintain your speed, that's a win in my book. Nice, Anna. We don't have to do a little OA. We don't have to put our hand behind our back. That might be a little bit too crazy. That could mess with our balance also. You got it, Alexi. Keep pushing. You're doing a great job. Don't get tired on me now. Halfway there, there, everyone, halfway there. Let's go. Twenty seconds. You guys got it. We came in late. We got a special game today, but if we're gonna have game time, we gotta push hard. Fifteen seconds. I'll give you guys a countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Excellent, excellent. All right, everyone relax like a black belt. If you got water next to you, grab some water really quick because now we're gonna work on one of the most important things you'll ever learn in your martial arts life. This most important martial arts movement is Anyone have a guess? What do you think? If I call it the most important movement, what do you think of? What's the most important movement do you think? I have Dor Dorian has a hand up. Dorian, what do you think we're gonna do? A shot. Ooh, you're, you're kind of close. Kind of close, but it's not a shot. Over to Anna. I think the most important move is being flat. Great guess. You're watching Delilah's class. You thought that was the answer. <laughs> But it's not, dun, dun, dun. But it is a very important, but it's not the most important. 
uh, we're leadership, right? I can't just copy the elite class. We're doing higher and tougher stuff here. Come on, what do you think I am? Anybody else have any guesses? Guesses going once, going twice? Oh no, I lost Dorian, his, his camera fell, I think. All right, all right, he's good, he's, he's recovered. Yeah, is that a hand? All right, Dorian, last guess. Yes, sir. Brawl? Brawl, got a little further away from it. I said shot was closer, to the same sound. The answer is shrimp. Shrimp is the correct answer. Shrimp is, we use it for attacks, we use it for defense, we use it for escaping bad positions, and a lot of us only know the basic shrimp. But there's a lot more than just one type of shrimping. We have shrimping, we have step over shrimping, we have side shrimping, we have backwards shrimping. There's a lot of different types of shrimp. Has anyone ever watched Forrest Gump? Anyone watched that movie before? No? There's a scene where the guy talks about all different types of shrimp. You got barbecued shrimp, fried shrimp, gumbo shrimp. It's kind of like that scene, but it's different. It's martial arts shrimp. So we're going to go over all the different types of shrimp today, all four types, starting with the one you already know, the basic shrimp. So basic shrimp works like this. I'm on my back. I have my knees up here. I'm going to put one leg down. Whichever leg I put down, I turn to that side. So my right leg's down, I turn up to my right side. My back is off the ground, I'm on my side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this foot, and this is my anchor foot, kind of like the um, sit out. I had one leg that was bent where all my pressure was. Same thing here, this bent knee is where all my pressure is. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna push this foot into the ground, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my hips behind me. I wanna imagine that someone has like a lasso, like a cowboy lasso, like where my belt is, and they're pulling me back. Someone's dragging me. So I'm pulling my hips back or pushing my hips back, depending on how you think about it. So what's going to help me is if I use the side of this foot over here and this foot to get my hips off the ground, and then I push my hips back. Like someone's dragging me back, back, back. Why do I get my hips off the ground? Well, we're obviously not on the mass today. Some of us are on hardwood floors. Some of us are on carpet. Some of us might even be on tile or something like that. If I don't get my hips off the ground, that's a lot of stuff dragging. That's a lot of friction. That's a lot of work. A lot of things I'm going to have to pull. It's going to take a lot of energy. If I get most of my body off the ground, that's less dragging on the ground, and that's more energy saved. So make sure we're going to pick our hips up. We're going to push our hips back. And after I do one shrimp, very easy. Now I just flip the other way. Same thing, now my left leg's down, my right leg's up, I'm on my left side. You can see now my back's off the ground. Now this is gonna be a great angle. You can see I'm pushing on this foot. I'm getting my hips up. My hips are down, now my hips are up. And I push my hips back as far as I can. How far should you go? Well, there's no magic answer. You wanna go as far as you can comfortably. So push your hips as far as you can, and that's all. That's the normal shrimp. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to do 10 good shrimps. 10 good shrimps. Everyone gonna lay down? Everyone lay down. Uh, get down on the ground. The explosions are coming. Okay. So we're do 10 good shrimps on your own. When I say go, you're gonna go shrimp one side, shrimp other side. I want you to alternate sides. If you start getting out of your area, move back to your area. We should be moving with our shrimps so we push our hips back. Ready, set. Go. 10 shrimps on your own. Okay, Josh, that's looking good. That's not a normal shrimp though. You're doing something that I asked you not to do. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, let's fi figure out what you're doing that everybody else isn't doing. Okay, Anna, good job. Awesome work, Ashton. Jo I know Josh is scratching his head right now. I thought that was a good shrimp. It is a good shrimp. I didn't say it wasn't a good shrimp. It's just you're doing something extra. Keep going. When you're done with your 10, select like a black belt. If you finished all 10, select like a black belt. Not bad, Lexi. Make sure we anchor that one foot. We need that power foot. If we push, you're just using the side of our foot and they're very, very heavy, it's going to be tough to get out. Nice, Anna. Good job, Dorian. Great work. So Lexi's done. Josh is done. Ashton's done. Good, good, good.
Good shrimping, good shrimping. Finish strong. Don't worry about everybody else. You take your time. I want good quality shrimps. Okay. Tristan's done. Awesome. Josh, do you know what you were doing that everybody else wasn't doing? I'm gonna unmute you. Do you know what you were, do you were doing? What were you doing? I think using both feet. Ooh, you're very close. Yes, I'll take, I think that's the correct answer. I'll take that. So you were doing a different type of shrimp. You're doing a modified shrimp. And what you're doing was not wrong, but what you're doing has a name and it's called the step over shrimp. And you were kind of stepping over, but not all the way. The step over shrimp is better than the normal shrimp. Not better some of the times, it's just better. So coach, why do we not just learn the step over shrimp thing? Well, the answer is very simple. It's because the step over shrimp is more complicated to do. Um, and the step over requires a little bit of flexibility, requires a little bit of knowledge on how to do it. But we're leadership, I think we can do it. So for the step over shrimp, I'm gonna get to my normal shrimp position where I'm one leg down, one leg up, I turn to my side. But when I turn to my side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my anchor leg, the leg that's been up, and I'm gonna step over my leg. Seems simple, but there's a problem. I'm not just going to step, boom, right here. And that's what you were doing, Josh. You were stepping over, but you were doing what I was calling, a, a, I would call it a shallow step over. And we have to think about how would we do this move if someone was attacking us. I can't just step my leg over. Let's imagine they're in side control, right? They're on this side close to the camera. They're my side control. I'm going to shrimp towards them, get back to guard. If I try to take my leg from here and put it here, they're going to be in the way. This is where they are, right? They could do a lot of things from here. They could push my knee down, a lot of bad stuff. So when I step over, I want to step over very high. I step over very big. So I'm going to have a strong just your foot. I'm going to kick all the way up the ceiling, all the way up, back down. That way I get my leg over them. And now I do use both feet. You'll see my feet back here, my feet up here. I use both feet to push my hips back. Now I bring my knee through, and I'm back to where I started. Another angle, instead of just going here, I'm gonna kick all the way up and over, tall. Then I push my hips back. So, we're gonna do this. Make sure you kick over high. We're gonna do 10, that's like a black belt. And depending on how much time we have left, we may go into our game. Any questions before we start this? All right, I got a hand from, Tristan, Tristan, what is your question, sir? What's up? Can you do that again? Yeah, totes. I totally can. Super simple. You got it. So, step over shrimp. Coming to you live. Take two. I'm on my back. I got the one leg straight. I'm going to kick my leg all the way up as high as I can and then bring it over. Put it on the ground over here. This is still my anchor foot. The leg that stepped over is still my strongest pushing foot. So I use this to push my hips back. Everything about the shrimp staying the same, I'm just adding a step over. So the way your hips move, the way you turn to your side, the way you have your T-Rex arms, all that stuff is staying the same. All right, so everyone gonna lay on your back, you ready? All right, 10 step over shrimps on your own. Get set and go. Great job. Nice, Josh. Remember, get those hips up off the ground and you'll drag less. I know you guys in the carpet have the most to deal with. Trust me, I've been there training on my own, getting rug burned and everything like that. Great, good, Lexi, yep. Awesome, okay. There it is at the end. That's, that's it right there, Lexi. Yeah, push those hips back. Push those hips back before we bring our leg through. Josh is getting it. That's a high step over Josh. Much better. Let's see it. Anna, nice. Yeah, good way to push. Now we're going to switch over to the other side. Phenomenal. High step. Oh, you did a high step the other way. You didn't have a step that side, Anna. High step. Kick all the way up to the ceiling. All the way over. No lazy kicks. 
All right, I see Dorian. All I see is Dorian's feet, but I know he's doing it well because I can see that leg kick through the air. Good job, Dorian. Don't worry about your camera. I know it keeps falling. You're good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Awesome job, everyone. As you're done, go ahead and sit and relax for me. Ashton's done. Lexi's done. Dorian's done. Nice T-Rex arms there, Tristan. Good step over too, bud. Nice. Can't tell if that was the camera angle. Look at your head hit something. Be careful. Make sure you have enough space. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. You tired, Lexi? What's going on over there? <laughs> you falling out on me? All right. Everyone's done. Perfect. So now it's time for our game. This game's going to work a little differently because we got a meeting this morning, and I talked to some of the coaches, and I said, man, I'm tired of playing line by line and hanging in charades. I want to play some other games. I want to think of some cool other ideas. And we thought of this game, and it's been a lot of fun today. But before we do the game, the game has one primary rule. The rule is everyone is in their own home right now. Make sure you follow your household rules to play this game. Do not break any of your house rules. I don't know what rules you have at home, but whatever rules you have, make sure you follow them. Today's game is called Scavenger Hunt. Here's how the game works. Coach Colton will tell you one item. Whoever can find that item and bring it back on screen first wins. I will only be picking safe items, so do not worry. I will not ask you to run through the house with scissors or something heavy or anything like that. Whoever can find it first and bring it back on screen first wins. I will not say go. All I will do is say the name of the item. Many of you are in rooms where you have a lot of items near you, so it might be easier. Some of you might be in gym rooms where you might not have the same type of items. Some of you guys might have easier times. Some of you might have harder times. Before I start the game, is there any questions? I know it was first time playing. As always, make sure we follow our house rules. I have a hand from Josh here. Josh, yes. Nope, you do it. One second, take two. There it goes. Josh, what's your question? I was about to ask if we were gonna do like categories of what to look for. I will sometimes give you an option. I'm not going to pick anything very specific. I'm going to pick everyday household items that I know you should have at home. So I know not everyone might have like very, something very specific. Um, you know, if I ask you guys to bring back a guitar, I know not everyone has a guitar at home, right? I'm going to ask you for things that I know you have. Don't worry. I see Lexi has a little thing there, which is why I said it. All right, here we go. Round one. And I'll say whoever I see first, I'll, I'll call out first, second, third, fourth. The first person that can bring me back. I'm just gonna say the item, I'm gonna say go. As soon as you hear the item, run for it. Shoes, any pair of shoes, go, go, go. Shoes, 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 shoes. Any pair of shoes. First place, Ronan. Ronan's back with the shoes. Second place, Lexi. Third place, Ashton. Fourth place, Tristan. Fifth place, Anna. Sixth place, Josh. We're waiting on Dorian. Dorian must have his shoes by the front door if I had to guess. He's taking some time and he's a fast guy. Seventh place, Dorian. Good job. Okay. Next item. Backpack, book bag, backpack. What do you carry to school normally? Book bag, backpack. First place, Lexi. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Second place, Ronan. Third place, Anna. Fourth place, Tristan. Fifth place, Ashton. Sixth place, Joshua. I bet Dorian also has this thing on the hanger by the door. Wait, where'd he go? I miss his camera cut out. Oh no, he's back. Okay, Dorian's back. All right, Dorian, I don't know what we got there, but good job. All right, next one. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Go, 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 go. Find your toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Make sure everybody almost just brush their teeth, right? Lexi in first. Josh second. Ashton third. Tristan fourth. Ronan fifth. Uh, no, actually reverse that. Dorian fourth. Tristan fifth, Ronan sixth. Where's Anna? Oh no, maybe her bathroom's upstairs. There's Anna, okay, back with the toothbrush. All right, very, very good. Next item, you must get, find me a ball, any type of ball, baseball, basketball, volleyball, beach ball, yoga ball. Ronan first, Ashton second. Tristan third. 
and a fourth. Lexi, fifth. That's a nice watermelon. Josh, sixth. All righty. And Dorian, seventh. Nice job. Okay. Um, we'll do two more items, I think. I can think of some tough items. A cup or water bottle. A cup or water bottle. Empty or flood. Don't care. A cup or water bottle. Ronan first. Second. Anna third. Lexi fourth. Dorian. Fifth. Ashton. Sixth. Joshua. Yes, you may have a drink of water. Go for it. That, that's that's the uh, cat. That's not a ball. Over. Okay. Yes, Tristan. Good job. All right. All right. All right. Last item today. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. This last item is going to be a little bit of a different one. Okay. So I might have a couple of different. It might be hard to call, but you'll see where I'm going with it. For the last item, you must bring me an item that you can tell a story about. Bring me an item that you can tell me a story about. It could be anything, but you have to be able to tell me a story about it. Bring me an item, you can tell me a story. Anna's got something, Ronan's got something, Ashton's got something, Lexi's got something, Dorian's got something. Waiting on Josh, waiting on Tristan. Bring me any item you can tell me a story about. All right, Josh has an item. All right, waiting on Tristan with his story item. And then we're gonna go through, we're gonna spend about 30 seconds to a minute you know, uh, to make sure you brought me a legitimate item and not something random. You're gonna have to tell me a story about it, okay? And Tristan's back. So let's start at the top here. Lexi, you are first on my screen. Lexi, tell me a story about your item that you brought. So I brought my, I guess you could call her my lovey. Her name's Rosie. Um, I got her for my first Christmas, and I always sleep with her, like every night. Aw, that's super awesome. Very good. And you know, that's been a long time. Have you ever, uh, uh, how is she doing? She's quite old now, right? <laughs> Has she ever gotten ripped at all or sewn back together or anything? No. Nice. Very good. Very well taken care of. Excellent story. Mm -hmm. Very good, Lexi. Next up I see on my screen is Anna. Anna, tell me your story about your item. This is my teddy bear, and I actually got her, like, when I was born. And I think we were in Alaska when I got her. Yeah. But oh, I, wow. have, I yeah. live with her every night now. Awesome. It's She's different. definitely had some miles then. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Do you have a name? Sorry. Do you have a name for your teddy bear? She said he's a teddy bear. So I, she said he's a teddy bear. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. Going over now. Next up, I see Josh. Josh, what's your item, sir? My item is a, heli a toy helicopter, you know, remote control helicopter. It was the first one I got. I got it for Christmas, and then I played with it a little bit, but then my dad took it from me because I was because I almost broke something in the house, and then I ended up getting it back, but it was broken. Oh, no. That's no bueno. Well, definitely, I understand that. Do you have any, uh, is that something you're interested in, like drones and flying helicopters and things? Is that something that you like a lot? Yeah, I do like it, but I'm not good at it. Okay, that's fair enough. You can like something not be good at There's plenty of things that I like that I'm not good at. Now I'll go over to Ashton. Ashton, tell me a story about your item, sir. Um, this is a novel competition that I won. Okay. Now I see you have a lot of medals behind you. Did you just pull out one at random, or does that one mean something special to you? I just got a random one. Okay. Is there any one of them that might, uh, any one in particular one that really means a lot to you that you remember a story about specifically? Because I know you've competed a ton. I've been there for a lot of them. Um, which one really strikes your eye? The wind chime of metals. <laughs> this one is the one that I want at pants. Okay, so 
Tell people about PANS. What, what is PANS? Some people don't know. What's PANS? Um, it's the biggest competition in the world for younger people. Correct. And where is it at? Uh, California. Very good. And what was that? Gold, silver, bronze? Well, I forget what, what was you placed that time? I think I got like fourth or something. I don't okay. know what it is. Nice, nice, nice. Can you bring it a little closer to the camera so everybody can see? Nice. Very nice metal. Very good. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Ashton. Uh, we'll go over to Tristan to our team guard now. Tristan, what did you bring? What is that? My controller. Your controller? So you like to play video games a lot? Yes. Me, my, cool. me and my brother like to play together. Awesome. That's a good a thing story. to do. There is a story about this one. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, me and my brother were once were playing my this game. We we're, were playing Fortnite, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we were in a, a tournament. Me and my brother did some weird stuff, like um, racing it, racing on stuff. Gotcha. Okay. And then and um. This one guy, he tried to stop all of us. He tried to stop me and my brother. He had an mm -hmm. RPG, but uh, my brother died first. Oh, no. Well, we both lost. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But you had a fun time. That, that's worth something. I mean, that's why you play video games, right, is to uh, have fun. We'll go over now to Ronan. Ronan, what is up, dude? What do you have there? Uh. This is my mom's Tai Chi sword. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, apparently, she says it's, like, really, really hard because you have to be, like, really precise with, like, the movements. I've done it with her, like, once or twice. Mm-hmm. And it looks like a legit sword. It looks like a metal and stuff, right? How heavy is it? Is it super heavy, pretty light? It's not that heavy. It's not really a real sword. It's, like, one of those extendable ones. So you don't... Oh, okay. But gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I thought of, um, yeah, there's a movie, an old, what's well, that old, what, 90s maybe, early 2000s? There's a kung fu movie called Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's all about like a sword that kind of looks exactly like that. It's so kind of a straight blade that has a tassel at the end. And the whole plot of the movie is that someone steals this very famous sword and they're trying to get it back. And that's what it kind of reminds me of there. Dorian, what do you have uh, today? What'd you bring? I have a stuffed bear that I got probably a few months after I was born. And one time we lost him. Then we bought another one. And then I'm pretty sure we lost that no one. And then we got a new one again. And I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> his name awesome. is Zoo Bear. His name's what? Zoo Bear. Zoo bear. And when you bought, I'm interested, when you bought the new bear, did it look like the old bear? Does that look like the first one you got? Probably. Probably? Okay. The company gotcha. that sells them is out of business. So we oh, can't. Whoa. That's crazy. I actually read a story recently. There is this, um, oh, what is it? What was it called? I forget. Never mind. It's not important. Uh, anyways, <laughs> announcements. Um, don't forget, next week, we're going to be having classes back at the Academy. I see many of you have signed up already. If you are signed up, three things you need to bring. You need to bring your mask. You need to bring your gloves. And I would definitely bring a water bottle. If you are scared of getting germs and don't want to use the water fountain, bring your own water bottle. It always helps with the germs. Um, next up, if you're not doing classes next week on site, that's okay as well. We're continuing to have online classes. We sent out a link today to sign up for the classes, and we sent out the link for the schedule today as well. If you did not receive those, make sure you talk to your mom and dad, make sure they got them. If not, I will send it to them again. Other than that, that's only the two real two announcements I have. Of course, when everyone comes back in, we'll be doing the stripes and giving the stripes back out to everyone and making sure everyone's caught up to where they need to be. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have. Are there any questions before we bow out and do student of the day? Going once, going twice. All right, drum roll, student of the day. <laughs> student of the day today. I'm gonna give my student of the day, just student that was doing a phenomenal job today. 
I'm gonna give my student to Dorian Hunter. I'm gonna call that for Dorian. Good job, dude. Congrats today uh, on your job today. I saw you doing a great workout all throughout. You were hustling to get those items back. I don't know how far away your shoes and stuff were. It seems like you were going pretty far distance to get them. You've been very consistent in the classes. So great, great work. Other than that, we'll go ahead and stand up and bow out. Everyone pop up. Feet together and hands by our side. Bow. Ropes. Awesome job day, everyone. Hope you guys had an amazing day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. See ya.